This video is going to deal with converting repeating decimals to fractions, and it's important to know that you only need a few things to do this. You have to know how to simplify a fraction, and you also, because this is a shortcut video, have to know when the, when the problem is beyond the shortcut and go find a different resource. I've made videos on this, but this one is meant to be the shortcut only. Um, how do we do this? You count up the number of repeating digits, and every repeating digit gets another 9 in the bottom or in the denominator. So what I mean by that is, in this first example, I only have one repeating digit. It's the number 4. So I have a single 9 in the denominator, and the 4 itself is my numerator. And since I don't have to simplify 4 ninths, I'm done. Simple, right? Here's the second one. I have two repeating digits, so that gives me two 9s in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put the 36 on the top, and let's not forget the 8. Now, if I need to simplify, and I think this one I will, then yes, you still have to simplify, because that's always part of the deal. Um, if you haven't seen videos on how to simplify using factor trees, and this looks interesting to you, that might be something that you want to go back and look at. I have those videos on my website, and lots of other people have them as well. Get rid of the 3s. Nothing else cancels, so I have my 8. And 2 times 2 is 4. On the bottom, I have an 11, and I'm done. Right? That's how you convert a repeating decimal to a fraction. And as I mentioned, you have to know when problems are beyond the shortcut. They're beyond the shortcut when you have a non-repeating digit. Right? Notice how this, this line up here doesn't cover the 3. And then you have one that is covered. If you see that, it's not bad, it's not, well, it's hard, but it's beyond what we do here. We do not count up decimals, we don't use the nines, it's just a different technique. And again, you can find other videos for that technique if that's your problem. Just look up converting repeating decimals to fractions and you'll find lots of examples that will describe that. But the first two are meant to be shortcuts and will take care of 90% of the problems you will have.